Welcome back to Love TV's Evening News. Tomorrow, June 1st, marks the beginning of the hurricane season. Projects indicate that this year's hurricane season will be an active one and according to forecaster at the National Meteorological Service, Frank Tench Jr., the forecast is for 15 or 16 named storms. One of the better known um, sources is from Colorado State University. They're forecasting 15 named storms, eight hurricanes, a four of which will become major hurricanes. The source is out of uh, tropical storm risk group out of uh, London. They're also predicting a fairly active season. 16 named storms, of which eight will become hurricanes, four of which will become intense hurricanes. The Cuban Med Service also recently issued a forecast. They're predicting 16 named storms, nine of which will become uh, hurricanes with four named storms occurring uh, within the Caribbean. And most recently, the um, sources out of the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, they are um, also predicting a, an active season with um, storms, um, named storms ranging between 14 to 23 named storms. And in terms of hurricane, also a fairly high number. I think it's around eight eight named storms for this year's um, hurricane season. So all, all, um, all indications are suggesting an active hurricane season for this, this year. And as always, Belizeans are advised to review and implement their hurricane plan as soon as possible. As usual, we, we always, always emphasize being prepared um, in terms of having a plan but what you would do in the eventuality of a storm or hurricane affecting the country of Belize. And that planning is best um, implemented as early as possible, if not now, or, or should have been prepared before now. But it's still not too late to, to have your plan in place. And in terms of knowing what you're going to do, where you're going to evacuate to with your family and friends, that planning is, is very useful. Also, being prepared to, to stock up on food supplies. If you can't do it all at once, you can do it piecemeal, uh, stocking up on essential food supplies uh, bit by bit, so that if we are faced with the eventuality of a storm or hurricane, you are more or less ahead of the game in terms of that type of planning. And of course, um, monitoring the reports issued daily by the Weather Service radio and um, television. Love News also spoke to Minister of National Emergency Melvin Hulse, who is confident that Belize is prepared for this year's hurricane season. I'm confident and comfortable to the extent that we are prepared uh, uh, because there's always another plateau that all of us would like to get to. No? So it will never be uh, where we'd like to say perfect but for all the training the places that we're going to have the organization put in place um, yes I have no qualms about facing anything that comes along um, we, we, we have really gotten better Hulse adds that the hurricane shelters have been checked for safety and enhanced where necessary we have gone through all of them um, we have um, enhanced this, this, the, the safe, this structure, took it to another level from all the coastal areas. We have already gone in, um, we have sent people in, we have gone to every shelter in the Belize um, River Valley, in the Belize district, and we've been doing that district by district, evaluating those areas where those that we have encountered where we just basically believe that, guess what, we cannot receive, we have not put them on the list, okay? So we have struck up a tremendous amount. We have identified newer areas. We have also strengthened a lot of them. And each and every year, we continue to strengthen um, hurricane shelter. Minister Hulse also urged the public not to listen to rumors, but to listen to their radios and the news to keep track of what is happening. This week is being observed as Insurance Week, and the organization of insurance companies, Orinco, is hosting a series of activities. The week was officially opened this morning. 
Marinko's president, Louise Moore, told us that this year they plan to hold the event a little early. Marinko is the organization where all insurance companies belong to. And uh, this organization takes care of all the problems that the industry has and try to solve them. And uh, the CEOs of the different companies belong to this organization. We have this week set aside every year, but it's only this year that we have moved it up to the um, beginning of the hurricane season. And that is because of where most companies are affected by the hurricane season. And um, we felt that it would have a greater impact on people um, wanting to know more about insurance, how it operates, how it can benefit them. And um, it's just that we needed to get it at this time for all our companies to put out there the best and to see that the insuring public understands insurance. Keynote speaker at this morning's opening ceremony, Supervisor of Insurance in the Ministry of Finance, Alma Gomez, said that the ministry is imposing more regulations on insurance companies to ensure better customer service. The Ministry of Finance has a department called the Office of the Supervisor of Insurance, which basically is set up to supervise the insurance industry. We regulate, um, we supervise both agents and companies to make sure that whatever they're saying they should be doing and that it, the policyholders who are their main clients are protected. So basically it is supervised to ensure consumer protection. The companies are for the most part complying. Um, right now what we're stressing on them mainly is the establishment of the statutory fund. Um, for majority of them out of the 14 companies, only one of them I would say has problems with it and it, it, that should be resolved very shortly. But apart from that, um, we are very strict with them and we're putting penalties now so that they have to comply and they can provide the benefit of insurance to the policyholders. Gomez also gave a summary of the performance last year by insurance companies and said that after all fees and claims, the companies did very well. The gross premium figures that I mentioned is basically production, or this is the premium that insurance policyholders would pay an insurance company. Out of this premium, the, the company, the companies has to pay back claims, which is what it gives back to the insurance um, public. They have to pay their administrative fees, they have to pay for reinsurance, and they also have to put some aside for future claims, um, for investment. So all of this is showing how much a company is collecting. Um, if you see the, the premium, the claims that is paid is only about um, 37,000 for last year, I think, 37 million for last year. That figure is showing that the companies are bringing in more money than they're actually paying out. It is possible that it might be proper underwriting that we have not had a major hurricane or a major fire. In an active hurricane year, we would see claims skyrocket for sometimes up to $90 million. So it all depends on, on what happens during the year um, with respect to claims. But it's important for the companies to have the money to be able to pay out back in the event that something goes wrong. Orinco's president, Louise Moore, says that the Insurance Institute of Belize was launched in 2008 under Orinco to further educate and train insurance companies' employees. Activities for the week include a series of radio talk shows and the Customer Appreciation Day on Friday. Insurance Week is being held under the theme, Preserving and Creating Value.